Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover Australian dollar versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with Australian dollar versus US dollar first. So what I found basically, this is the hourly time frame and we can see that there was a, in the background on last, uh, last Friday, we had a quite aggressive rejection of the, the support cluster at 0 0.6385 and what happened after is market went into consolidation so it reacted more like a v-shaped reversal and it, we had basically we have this morning the breakout of this new form mini resistance area at 0 0.6440 and so far market is so we had a breakout and now market is in the consolidation in less a uh, few hours and I definitely see potential uh, to for the further uh, higher prices and the scenario to unfold towards the 0 0.6485 uh, uh, or uh, even 1 point, uh, 0 0.6500 area. Now also the met metals are on the rally mode and uh, they're definitely helping Australian dollar to rise. Since Australian dollar is considered to be like a commodity currency and it's uh, very correlated with the gold and silver and overall with the metals. So um, the, mo the most likely scenario to develop is for, you know, to the upside uh, towards 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.6485 and 0 0.6500 mark. Now the alternative scenario, um, only in the case from my perspective, if the market can aggressively sell off and take uh, for example, uh, 0 0.6425 and then hold below for some uh, downside moment in rotation back to this area here, which is the area 0 0.6385. But since that is uh, not the case uh, so far and market is holding, for now the most likely scenario is to the upside. And we have the gold market, so what happened here is uh, we have this prolonged channeling mode all the way down lasts for a couple of days and then we have a breakout and the market actually did a uh, strong initiation in this area here then news happened last Friday market did you know some very volatile environment market sold off there was a 904 uh, and we found aggressive buyers that uh, kicked in from that area so managed to recover to 1915 before the end of the Friday and then we can see that market then did a and push through the previous uh, new form resistance at 1922. Uh, tried to sell off, but my buyers were basically buying back. And now uh, we're having some tight consolidation, but we're trading above this key resistance cluster. And this cluster can act like a support today in 1922. Some upside reference points for the upside scenario. Uh, we have the 1930 mark, so this is a pin bar high from this area, and of course, very key important pivot zone and cluster. I will say sitting around 1942 and 1945. That would be probably the main objective for the upside, but we also need to consider 1930 level as well. Some alternative scenario will basically we, uh, if we go here, we have the rising trend line. So some alternative scenario will be if the market finds some aggressive selling and then market to go towards uh, this rising trend line and then eventually there from there to find more buying power. Uh, so there is not too much at this point to the downside. Of course, some bigger aggressive sell-off like to take this rising trend line. Uh, we can see um, then in that scenario even deeper move down. But that's just uh, some alternative scenarios. Still, the more, more likely scenario is the market to build higher and um, to go towards those uh, main clusters uh, to the upside. If we go and speak about the crude oil, we have we are forming this uh, triangle. Basically, we can see that market is contracting, so it will take some time for market, from my perspective, to contract. Maybe to trade, you know, contract and then eventually break out. Uh, either to the upside or to the downside. So this is more in like building consolidation. Um, of course, uh, there, is, there will be option if the market can break. Let's say after consolidation, if we break to the upside, 
clear the 8113 then of course market can trade towards the 8375 or 8490 and if it's clear downside and hold below after the pair of the consolidation then we can even try to retest 77 um, let's say 78 mark or even lower but so far just consolidation and creation the same thing on a bitcoin so we're trading in a very very well defined a rectangle consolidation the key resistance is 26,000, uh, I will say 300 mark, and the key support around 25,700 mark. So, you know, there is a potential for the breakout. Let's see if we see the upside breakout, and there is a chance to retest 26,800 and eventually attack this 27,500 area, 7,300 area. So, if we trade lower, you know, and break the support at 25,700 mark, this, let's say the downside. And let's even break the trend line. Then it can really be a good, uh, you know, strong sign for the further, uh, for the further drop even towards the twenty thousand mark. So we will see. So far, consolidation is um, in process. That will be all for this update, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Um, have a good trading day, and speak to you from tomorrow morning.